What's happening everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back. In today's video I'm going to show you how to install the Google Mobile Services on your Huawei or Honor device. Once the installation process is done, everything seems to work fine. So that was the YouTube app, this is the Google Play Store, that one seems to work fine. I'm not going to show you my emails, Chrome works fine and Google Maps works fine. You're still not going to be able to use Google Pay after you install the Google Mobile Services. And also you should check the video's description before you do anything. I will post any updates in there um, and also a list of devices that are compatible um, with this installation method. I didn't come up with this installation method, so if you want to see the original video that was in Spanish, um, there will be a link in the video's description. And with that being said, let me turn the camera around and um, let me show you how to install the Google Mobile Services on your Huawei device. Alright, so you have to start the installation process with a fresh factory reset. Keep in mind that when you do a factory reset, everything that you have on your phone will be erased. So first things first, check the video's description and make sure that um, your phone is compatible with this uh, installation method. Next, you have to remove the SIM card. So the SIM card has to be out of your device and for now you can be connected to Wi-Fi. Alright, first things first, you're going to have to download the installation file and um, to find the installation file and the link for that, um, check the video's description. So you're going to open the browser, click next, agree, allow, allow, and uh, enter the link that uh, you've seen in the video's description. That link may change depending if uh, the files are available or not, but I will uh, try to update the link as often as possible so everyone can download that. So enter the link uh, in the video's description. So this is a Google Drive um, folder. It's gonna look something like this. Press on this once, then press at the top here. And you're gonna have to press download anyway twice. So once, oh, or once. Sometimes you have to press twice on it, but um, press download and just give it um, a couple of minutes till it's done downloading the file. When that file is done downloading, you can exit that, go to files here. Here you're going to go to categories, internal storage, download, browser, and this is the file that um, we just downloaded. So hold this pressed for a second, select more, extract to, and you can select the current directory and press OK. And this is the file that um, you just um, downloaded. So here at step one, you're going to go to backup, you're going to select Huawei, hold it pressed for a second, select move select other location, select internal storage, press move. Here you're going to select apply to all and merge. And then you can go back and you can exit that. Next you're going to turn off the Wi-Fi. So go to Wi-Fi, turn it off. Next we'll go to system and updates. Here you're going to go to time and date and you're going to deselect the first one. So not set automatically. And you're going to change the date to uh, 2018 or 2019, whatever um, you prefer. Go back and back. Next, we're going to go to apps. Here at apps, we'll click on apps once again. Select show system processes. Search for backup. Here, you're going to force stop it. And you're going to uninstall it. That simple. And you're going to exit this and you can close everything running in the background. Next we'll go to files, internal storage, download browser, our installation folder. And we'll go back to step one. And here you're going to install these two apps. So click on the first one. Select don't ask me again, allow and install. Done and install the second one. Install, done. Exit this and you can close everything running in the background. Next we'll go to settings once again. We'll go to system and updates. We'll go to backup and restore. Data backup. Next. Agree. Select the three dots at the top here. Restore from internal storage. Select the only one um, that shows up. And restore. And you're going to have to enter this password right here. Press OK. And done. And of course you can exit this and close everything running in the background. 
So now you're gonna open the Blue G app and um, a couple of things can happen. You can get this screen and if you get this screen, everything will work normally or you can get a different screen and that means that uh, this doesn't work with your device and you probably have to downgrade the software on your device. So I will try to leave some links in the video's description so I can show you how to downgrade um, the software on um, your device. But um, if you get to this, uh, this works um, fine. So press activate and allow. So just leave this like this and uh, you can probably close it from the background. So close everything running from the background. Next we are going to go to settings. At settings we are going to turn on uh, the Wi-Fi once again. And then we're going to go to system and updates, time and date. And you're going to set the time to automatic once again. You can exit this and you can close everything running in the background. Next, we're going to open files once again. Internal storage, download, browser and our folder here. And we're going to step number two. And here we're going to install this app right here. Click install and click done. And you can exit that. And now you should find the app right here. So now you can open this. Don't change anything. Go to account, add Google account. Sign in. This will close. Do it again. Sign in. And now you can enter your um, Gmail account and password. Click next. And enter your password. Click next. Agree. And now you should be logged in. And to check uh, and make sure that you're logged in, go open settings, users and accounts. And at Google here, you should see your um, account. So you can exit this and close everything running in the background. If you want to add a second account, open this app once again and add the second account now. So that's how you would add the second account. Next, we're going to open the G app. We'll give it a second. Press on this and on this and let this um, run in the background. We'll open files. We'll go to internal storage, download browser, and we're going to step three and we're going to install all these apps. So number one, number two, number three, number four, Number five, number six, and you can exit this. Next, you're gonna open the Play Store, but it's not gonna work, but you just wanna see that uh, your account uh, is there. So you can close this, uh, just close the Play Store, and uh, then you're gonna uninstall the Micro G app. So just uninstall this. Next, you're going to go back to files here. Um, we'll go to internal storage, download browser, and we'll go to step number four and we're going to install this. So install it. And give it a second. We should um, start getting notifications um, pretty soon. Those error notifications. So we'll um, exit that, go to settings here, go all the way to user and accounts, Google. And here, uh, turn on uh, the sync for everything. Go back, 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 and we are getting the notifications uh, now. But the Play Store should be working now. So as you can probably see the Play Store is working. So I'm gonna turn uh, down the sound so we don't hear that um, anymore. But um, now we are basically getting all the notifications, but the Google Play Store is working. All right, so next we are going to try um, getting rid of all those uh, notifications that we are getting. So we are going to close all the apps running in the background. We are going to go to settings. We'll go to apps. We'll go to apps once again. Here we'll select show system processes, search for Google. And um, we're going to uninstall the Google Play services. So first stop it. And then uninstall it. And you can exit this and close everything running in the background. Next, we're going to go back to files, internal storage, download browser, and we'll go to step number five. We'll install this, give it a second. 
press done, exit this, open the Play Store and make sure that it still works. So it still works, but we still get uh, the notifications, the notification errors. We'll close that. Everything is closed. We'll uh, get rid of those uh, notifications. And then we'll go to settings. So here we are going to apps once again. Apps at the top, show system processes, search for Google. And we're going to Google Services Framework. Here we are gonna go to storage, clear cache, clear data. We'll force stop it. You may have to do this a few times. Uninstall and we'll exit this. We'll go back to files, internal storage. Here we'll go to download browser and here we'll go to fix errors. We'll install number one, install. Done. Next, we'll uh, make sure that uh, the Play Store is still working. So it's still working. Next, we'll go back to settings, back to apps, apps once again, and search for Google Show System Processes. And we're going to go to Google Play Services. And um, you're going to force stop it. And you're going to uninstall it. Then we'll exit this, we'll go back to files, and we're gonna install our second app from here. Install. And when um, this is done, you're gonna restart the phone. So you're not gonna do anything else, you'll just restart the phone. So we'll wait for it, press done, exit this, and restart the device. We'll press power off and then um, I'll start it again in a second. We'll just give it a second. So when the phone starts again, we basically have to see if those notifications um, keep showing up. And um, we do have a notification at the top there, but the Play Store should be working fine. So next we're gonna go back. For some devices, they may actually work without notifications now. For some, you may have to do this once again. So go back to apps, go back to apps. Show system process, search for Google. Here go to Google um, Framework Services. Um, go to storage, clear data, clear cache, and force stop it and uninstall it. Go back to our files here, internal storage, download browser, fix errors, and reinstall uh, this. We'll press done and uh, let's restart the phone once again. Now that the phone is back on, we'll have to check and see if those um, notifications come back. So no notifications um, showing up. Um, let's install the YouTube app. Let's install Chrome. Install Chrome. What else? Um, let's do Gmail for account for uh, for a try. So the YouTube app does seem to work normally. I can access my account there. Chrome. We are still uh, waiting for Chrome. The Gmail app is um, on and Chrome should be on soon. And Chrome works. So there you have it, the Google Play services on the Huawei P40 Pro, probably P40 Pro Plus, the Mate 30 and um, so on. So it takes a while, it's a lot um, based on a lot of luck. For some it may work from the first try, from some of you may you may have to do like this um, three or four times. So it, it really depends um, on your luck. But at least we get um, another um, Google uh, mobile services um, installation method that works. All right guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, don't forget to press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.